Now, the race for the state house in Kenya is down to the wire. Ahead of Monday's vote, uh, the two leading candidates are both confident of winning the race, though polls show a second round runoff is likely. We have team coverage of the elections, beginning with viewers Gabe Joslo in Nairobi. Welcome, Gabe. Hello, oh, Vincent. Now, give us a sense of uh, the mood on the streets of Nairobi today, just two days before the elections. Well, people are pretty excited uh, to get the chance to vote in this election. It'll be Kenya's fourth president that they're electing. Uh, you're also seeing a lot of movement in that uh, people are going back to sort of their home regions, their hometowns uh, to vote. Uh, one of the reasons being that this election will also include include candidates for local positions, not just the president. So people want to vote uh, for, for people in, in their home constituencies. Uh, the other reason people say is that there are fears or there's some tension uh, and concerns that there could be violence that there was last time around. But for the most part, um, it's calm and, and mostly just excited. Yeah, and I'm happy that you clarify this, that some of the movement is because people are going back to vote in their ancestral home. Now, you traveled from uh, Eldoret uh, through Nakuru and back to Nairobi. Did you see, like, uh, evidence of uh, kind of a heavier than normal presence of uh, security officials? Yes, the police are, are definitely out in force uh, trying to control the highways. They're making regular patrols through town. Uh, you are seeing a heavier police presence, and uh, as President Kabaki said today, uh, they are be you know, beefing up security forces just to ensure that it is a peaceful vote, uh, noting how important it is for the Kenyan economy, for Kenya's development, uh, that this vote be free, fair, and peaceful. There have uh, been claims of uh, voter bribery. How big of an issue is that? Who are people talking about it? Well, my understanding is that this is something that happens pretty regularly. Uh, during election season here in Kenya. Uh, you see it on the local level more, more so than you do on, the, on a grander scale. I mean, the governor of Nairobi, or the, I'm sorry, an aspirant for governor of Nairobi, Ferdinand Waititu, got into a scuffle a couple weeks ago with some youths after he was allegedly handing out 500 shilling notes at a, at a small rally. I think a bigger concern are claims uh, by the major candidates of manipulation of the, or influence peddling um, among district officers, among local authorities, basically parties using their, their uh, I guess, their authority in government to try to influence the vote, to try to get voters to vote for their party. And it's very critical because we know that the vote is so close. Uh, what are these candidates saying they need to do in the one day of full uh, campaign day left for them to really uh, close that gap or at least uh, rather extend uh, the gap between each other? Yeah, well, what we're going to see tomorrow on Saturday is uh, two big rallies by the front runners, uh, Uhuru Kenyatta with the Jubilee Alliance and Prime Minister Raila Odinga with CORD. Uh, and this is really a last chance to try to motivate voters to come out and vote. I mean, the way the opinion polls look, this race couldn't be closer. You're seeing both candidates within a percentage point of each other. And then with the other party candidates in the race, it doesn't seem like anybody can get the 50 plus one, uh, 50 percent plus one votes that are needed to win in the first round. So really at this point it comes down to motivating your base, getting voters to actually come out and vote. And whoever can, can achieve that uh, is, is likely to win this thing. It, just uh, talking to ordinary Kenyans, I don't know if you've got together their feel on this. Are they prepared for a runoff election? Uh, well, you know, the supporters for both sides are, are both listening to the, the candidates and, and are, are hopeful, if not you know, confident, that this thing will end in a first round. Uh, the thing is, you're hearing the same statements from Jubilee, that they are, they are sure they're going to win the first round. Uh, they say that recent polling, internal polling, has shown they have the numbers with the, a boost in Coast Province, for instance. Okay. And Court is saying the same thing. Okay. So, uh, so yeah. it, it, it's going to be close. Right. Thank you very much. You'll be watching uh, this election. It's coming up on Monday. Uh, thank you very much, Gabe. Gabe Joslo, our correspondent there in Nairobi. Thank you.